Okay, now we're going to look at the wings. Now it looks to me that the wings start over right about in this area. Okay, so I'm going to come off the spine and then come over a little bit. So it looks like I'm going to jump into this view. Click on this as a bone and then add a bone in this area. And then I'll jump into the top view to spot out where that bone is and kind of manipulate it into position to correlate with the, the four bones or the four wings. I'm also worried about the wings so they need to be more centered. Center those up real carefully here just a skosh more and this is where I like using alt and up so I can be zoomed in and use alt and down just a little bit to kind of scooch it into position you can see that can make some really fine adjustments as long as I'm zoomed in. And that way I can place this bone right in the dead center of all these. Okay, so we'll get started with one wing. First I'm going to click on this bone. Click on this wing. Near it. And then I'm going to take this and move it up past everything so it's more up onto the actual wing structure and we're gonna keep this very 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 simple because the wings do not bend at all they just flap <laughs> or flutter so I'm gonna go like this okay so I'm gonna do that for each one of these and then mirror it onto the other side Again, this is my starting point, and you can kind of see that as far as the bone structure goes. It starts here, goes to this one this time, then spans out. Oops, you can undo if you click there. All right, so now we got this, and what I want to do is take this one and mirror it over, and this one and mirror it over. Now I know this is incredibly hard to see sometimes for students, so if I hit six, you're going to find out it would be even harder to see sometimes, but let me just hide this geometry for a second. So I'm going to show polygons. And you can kind of get an understanding of how this looks. I'll also turn grid off to give you a little bit better way of seeing it. So it starts out with a bone here. It goes up into the form. And then off of this form, I go one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side. All attached to the single thing. So that means, you know, I can rotate the wing here and it has no effect over the other structure this one same same and same that also means I can take this structure right here and the, the tail which starts here should be able to move up and down no problem the root grabs everything and then everything from here is totally expandable also so good now that we have a skeleton developed for the character uh, in the next video I show you how to start skinning the object